Hey guys, Ragnar here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you the wall we've got against Power Wall. At the moment, we're losing 95.107. We've had 23 stars, we've had 17. I will now be showing you my plan against my base, uh, base 38 uh, SBG Kaka. <coughs> so uh, let's go to the sketch. Okay, guys, so this is the base. Now, um, the attack that I like using is the Yeti Smash. Um, however, with this one, a lot of people have found out that the best way to get rid of the Yeti Smash is by putting all of your black mines, red mines, everything just around the town hall. If they know that you're gonna be coming in, you get rid of those healers and then the Yetis die very quickly. So because of that, I've decided uh, whenever I'm not on CWL, I do come from the back end sometimes. I usually like coming in from where the splash damage is, uh, whether it's the multi infernos or the scatter shots. On this occasion, um, I also look at uh, where the good value for the earthquake is. At this moment, I noticed that on this side, I could earthquake this. Now, the earthquake value is uh, 10 tiles. However, it, sometimes if you put it in between like five and a half, sometimes it might open 11 tiles, but I try not uh, uh, going for that because sometimes it doesn't work. However, <clears throat> on this occasion, uh, if I open this wall here, there, it's going to go all the way down. I don't need to open the one in the town hall. I expect that I've got to have my queen um, around there, maybe my royal champ. Um, it's all dependent on my troops going in so one of the things that I'm going to do is create a good funnel. So. I'm gonna put my warden here, getting rid of uh, that mortar. It's gonna get rid of the gold storage, the wish tower, the gold storage, probably the, the Aja tower and the gold storage. Just gonna get rid of that. Then I'm gonna put a couple of pickers. So one of them, <coughs> I'm gonna put around uh, here the gold storage and the, and the cannon and I'm gonna put um, the king over here in the elixir storage basically what I want with the king is for him to come here and funnel that I need this area funnel because what I want to do is I want to bring a jump um, and I want to put it around here so, so like that that way my my main army won't have anywhere else to go but inside and since that wall is open so I've got a good funnel there a good funnel there and then come in another thing i'm going to be putting on the eastern side over here is the siege barracks now the reason for the siege barracks there is because i've got hogs in my siege barracks so as soon as it breaks i'm expecting them to come this way and getting rid of uh, the multi infernos and this area now if they get rid of this area my main army can get rid of this they get rid of that they'll get rid of the temple and they will be happy days so basically with this army you just want to have them in the center smashing as much as they can i'll head back inside and uh, go on to a love attack and see if this plan actually works or not i'm sorry for this uh, doodling is the first time i've been doing it um hopefully it gets better <laughs> okay enjoy Okay, so now I'm recording this attack live. Uh, hopefully it works. At the moment we're losing 101, 108 against them. So my base number 38 will head over there. Okay, there he is. SBG Kaka. Alrighty. So. Earthquake in the center. Warden to the northwest. King, Pekka and Siege Barracks to the east. And go inside. So that's pretty much the basic plan. 
Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Uh, okay, just checking the army. Okay, we've got all our army there with the spells, all the green ticks. Okay, let's go in. Alrighty, so first I usually put in my earthquake spell, uh, just so that I uh, am as precise as I can be. Opened up the walls, yep, that's what I wanted. Okay, now the warden. Oh, but the cockaloon, killers. Okay, only the archer tower is hitting him, which is good. I usually like giving him a little bit of time. Usually I give him around 30 seconds to a minute in the warden. If you give him any more time, he will run out of time. So here comes Pekka, King, Siege Barracks. Good, they're heading into that inner channel. As Golem, rest of the army, jump. They're all heading in. I like using an early rage. Splash damage, water and ability. Here comes the Hawks with the uh, Royal Champ. Okay, second Rage and heal for the Hawks. Okay, they're all coming in. I'm getting rid of a scatter shot. Yeah, got this one. The army is down there, matching into the town hall. Town hall down. Okay, so what do I need? Okay, so everything else is clear. Okay, how much time left? A minute S seven. Queen is there to the northwest, that's good. The rest of the army is uh, cleaning up to the south. And yeah, this is going to be a triple. Well, champ ability. Only a couple of Teslas left. Queen ability. And it's done. So that's a triple. That's a big weight off the shoulders. Um, Thankfully, I was able to come in with the triple. So now we're just going to see how far back we are. Okay, so uh, three stars there. 101, 108. So 104 now, 108, uh, four stars behind. Let's have a look at the triples that we've had. So... 18 three stars and 21 stars for them okay guys so i'm back here in resistance now with my second account lord layback at the moment uh, sir agnac i've sent him to the wise fundraiser war which i'll be showing a video later on in the week at the moment i'm just showing you the conclusion of the war with uh uh, power wall um, We're gonna head straight into it. So uh, as you can see at the moment, we're winning 134 126 uh, two minutes and 30 seconds left. It looks like we've won this one uh, seven more triples, which is really good So we have two attacks left. Uh, let's see who hasn't attacked yet uh, so there he is, B2, I think he has his uh, heroes down, so I believe he's not going to be using his two attacks from the enemy team, there's uh, three attacks left, so uh, it is Kim jong Ed, one attack, and uh, Von707, uh, who also might not attack, so probably we've won this war, well no, probably I think we have, uh, there's a minute and 40 seconds left, I'll just show you one of the attacks at the moment, uh, to AOW Von707, uh, all head in, it's Chinx attacking, uh, he comes with a pickup bow bat 
Um, so he puts a couple of pickers and he see drag there to funnel on the northeastern side, the king on the eastern side, and the wall wrecker right in the middle with the bullets at the back, the healers, the queen, the ice golem, the warden, and uh, a couple of witches at the back. They all come in into the tank hole. Uh, whenever you're doing this attack, just make sure you don't use your warning ability until you get the tank hole down. Otherwise, that Giga Blast will get rid of all of your bullets, which would get rid of your entire army. The point of this attack is you create the funnel, you bring the army into the town hall, and then you put a jump or earthquake to get them into the center. You want your bullets and pecas in the center. Uh, you want to get rid of as much splash damage as you can. Um, before you bring the bats, uh, he brought the bats, I believe, a little bit early there was still a couple of infernos whiz towers scatter shots but at least he got rid of a scatter shot and the multi inferno the queen is still full health up north um, now there's still an archer tower bomb tower to the east uh, let's see how he manages to get this triple so he's got his queen full health the warden full health and the pekka full health now that the pack is in the range of the warden, the warden is gonna. No, the warden is still hitting by himself. The Alexa collector, Pekka hitting through the wall. The queen just survived. Getting rid of the bomb tower. He's got a few whiz to uh, get rid of the storages and collectors. And now the warden starts hitting the wall with a Pekka. But as the queen passes, he's gonna be following the queen. That's it, this is the triple. Without using the queen ability. Well, as everyone says, swagging the queen ability. So there it is with the bats. Uh, they're not really dead, the war has ended now. Um, 134, 126, uh, very good war. Congrats, power war. Um, so 98 attacks used against 97. Um, they, at the beginning of the war, they did scare us a bit. They were getting way too many triples. As you can see there against uh, Bear and a few others, triple, 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 triple. And we were um, not getting many triples at the beginning. So it did scare us a bit that uh, we might be losing our streak here. Um, However, by the end, we managed to get 34 triples against 26. Uh, pretty good margin, eight triples in favor of us. 96.82% total destruction. And uh, the most heroic attack is from Arrow. Uh, that's another one of the accounts from TK. Uh, we might just click on it and uh, watch what he did here. He usually likes using that hybrid minor hog attack. So we'll click on it. So our number 50 against uh, their number 8 SPG Batty. So as I said, he's coming in with, uh, with a hybrid attack. He starts with the Queen. So usually I like using this attack whenever the Town Hall is on the outside and it's Queen walkable. Um, uses the Baby Drag there to the east, trying to funnel a little bit more. Um, I believe uh, he's going to be putting the king there as well just to try to push the queen into the center. At the moment she's getting rid of the CC which is really good. It's a lava and IG, very common. Here goes the king getting rid of the collector and the Tesla farm starts showing up there. That could have been a problem. The queen could have walked. Um, but the king manages to get rid of it and the queen goes inside now because of that multi inferno there and the town hall they're going to be hitting the healers so he put his siege bar barracks down even though the town hall wasn't down usually you want to wait for the town hall to go down before you start funneling and then sending the main army but on this occasion you want to get rid of that multi inferno as quick as you can he uses the warning ability really well saving the inferno the healers um and the queen back to full health and getting rid of this kind of shot now they're all there in the center getting rid of 
the Inferno, he, with this attack, your heal placement is essential. Usually, I just use it uh, wherever the, um, the Infernos are. I've noticed that if you use it when you're coming into a scatter shot, it, it pretty much the scatter shot negates the heal. Uh, your your um, it will still die. However, against the multi inferno, it's still really good. So that's pretty much it. And it's finished just the last few defenses. Brings a little loon there that hits the black mine. Has a lot of whiz Pekka to clean up with a uh, queen full health as well. And that's another triple for us. Okay guys, that's it for me. I uh, will be leaving you with a few more attacks from this war against Power War. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy.